told me to tell you, be careful who you let fasten themselves to you. Yeah. Fastens itself to him. Lord told me to tell you, be careful who you let fasten Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, Karmadala La Narcissista. Uh, my name is Johnny. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what I'm talking about. Uh, and if you don't, put your two cents down there and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, so uh, there's a lot to talk about today actually. It's actually a lot that I have in my mind. Um, that's why like, when I have these moments or when I at least get this uh, motivation or this jump or this urge to act. The reason why I know that, or at least uh, I'll, I'll explain that in a second, she has played a big role, which is great because that's accepting responsibility, so it's actually a good thing if that's the case, but that's where I'm limited with information. So let me stick to the point here because I'm going to forget, believe me. Treat that fake profile. It's So there's so in my case, my narc, create a profile of a cousin of mine. Now, is she a cousin of mine? I believe so. I really think it's something, and they don't want me to speak of it in regards to, so they're already kind of discrediting me. Like, I'm not sure that makes sense, but uh, let me elaborate a little bit more on that. <clears throat> so, when they create this profile, well, let me at least start there. Let me start by saying at least how they create that profile. So, they create a profile of, uh, for example, a family member. So, they'll go to the actually family member's page, they'll screenshot pages from there, you know, they'll, they'll screenshot the pictures, like, or whatever they want to show on the page so they'll screenshot everything whatever you know they'll, they'll, they'll even make up stuff that they have to to make it look uh, um, like if it's legit and you know they take a picture of like i said of your profile they take a you know screenshots of everything that you've done uh, um type of thing and they start to implement it into this fake profile or this uh imposter or the peacock profile which or whatever you want to call it and you know they start screenshotting everything like i said so they'll put like a profile of you and those, this is where the where i believe the hardest part, if any, is they'll start to friend your friends and family. You know, so for example, so like, so say if they, like me, so when I seen this girl, my cousin, I have seen friends of mine already with her friend. And the next thing you know, my family is more, or her friend. So now when they start to send the request out, they're seeing, okay, well, I wonder what happened to her old account. But we don't ask those questions, especially if you don't speak to the cousin or haven't seen them in such a long time. So you're going to like, you know, just buy in and be like, okay, this is with the person. And that's what they can do is spread gossip through there. They can start to make you look like the bad guy or pretending to live this certain lifestyle that's not even them. If your family is not aware or they're going to just think, oh, you have two accounts. You know, so I have mentioned before, or at least I've said, um, you know, with my art, what she was doing at least is, you know, was on these like, fans only like literally on fans only and all this other type of stuff and that's where it was like going through the accounts or at least when i was seeing like ah, i can't be her you know you'll see the pictures and then yeah the pictures are not all them there's some of them are them but not all and and if you really look at the pictures it's two different people three different people sometimes so what i've noticed is they use or they have someone or they pay someone or their friends or their cousins or their own little genre they run or the little click whatever it is of narc or and what they're doing is, is they'll, for example, like, so say if I'm a dancer, say, you know, so they'll use my face as like, I'm the spoke person, but you're doing the work behind the scenes, you know, because um, when, because believe me, I went to the scenes and I'm like, oh, I believe, I've been behind the scenes, believe me, uh, it's it's actually pretty exciting. You I mean, if you, if you want to touch yourself with that, but, but uh, I, I find it laughing because it's supposed to destroy you. It's supposed to hurt you. And I just laugh. Like for me, I laugh because I'm like, dude, like, is this is what your your view of hurting me is that this is how what you think is gonna kill me and hurt me is like i laugh about it because i know who you are i know who i am i know what i offer so it's it's to me i just laugh at it now but anyway so yeah they're on fans only you know and, and it's funny though because it's like they like, i'll flash myself all day right like you know i'll come out of my halloween costumes and all this other stuff but then when it comes to the you know the x-rated stuff it's actually the person it's just what I noticed with my art, so it's, they pretend to be like, and, and so, so, so if you come with them with the evidence, because oh, they always want the evidence, they're gonna deny and say, no, that's not me. Look, look at the pictures, and they're gonna throw you off by saying, look at the pictures, or look at this part, or look at this, and and, and they throw you off with the stupidest shit. You know, what I mean, they'll start bringing up like, oh, look at the the shoes, not there. I wear a size nine, and that's a size nine and a half, <laughs> like stuff like that. Like, you know, uh, uh, but I see now, then, and he's not like he said, I'm playing it out of my head. They want me or they're gonna want you to believe that it's a certain individual a certain person 
so they can portray to be that person where they're not. So what they do is to keep you from opening your mouth. It keeps you from not saying anything because, you know, for example, like, you know, I, I wanted to speak to, to the my cousin's significant other in regards to what's going on, what are they hiding because my cousin's, okay, let's go, like I said, my, my cousin's significant other knows my narcs, narcopath. Make sense? She's not even using her last name now. She's using at least her mom's last name is the same as her uh, nar or narcopath. So she gets to play it off if someone were to bring it up. So I'm saying they're very smart. They're, they're not dumb. They, they know what they're doing. And they'll play you stupid as long as they can. You know, and they'll keep on going and going and, and to you. Like I said, even if you catch them, they're not going to say, yes, they have. But at the end of it, yes, it was my cousin, but it was a fake profile. So no, I'm not sure that makes sense. So, uh, and that's the thing, dude. They do some crazy shit. Like, I don't know about my cousin, but I, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna open my mouth there and say and, that I, what I don't know. But if, from what I hear, from what I know, there's some shit going on there. There's some. There, there's there's something there. And 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 I just can't wait for it to come out. Like, because if they think they're gonna hide it, it's it's gonna come out sooner or later. So just save yourself the trouble. A little momentum and I said you know what let's just take advantage of it because well, when I feel like this when I feel like on top of the world at least I want to express myself at least get out of my mind of whatever it is I need to say because I know it's gonna be beneficial for somebody when it comes to these narcs or narcissists a lot of them like to use Apple um, I'm not sure if it's a narc thing <laughs> I'm just kidding if you, if you have a, if you do have an iPhone uh, my apology uh, no offense to Apple of course correct me if I'm wrong here uh, or you know go ahead and add your two cents down there but uh, you can monitor other devices from an Apple device how does that work uh, I'm not really sure but and you can't even get your breath from the storm you just got out of I oh, no, in her vehicle in her car so it actually told me where she was going where she was at so even though I had the evidence even though I had the location the places where she was going and I was presenting it to her at least to the narc you know she she would deny it she would just tell me that it, it, it's it's wrong and what she would try to do is show me hers I'm asking my narc I'm like why are you showing me your phone I'm telling you I left Johnny from your car so how are you going to tell me you were at the location like when it says right here clearly so and then they'll argue with you they'll get in a fight or whatever it is and the next thing you know they bounce so they bounce for a week or two and of course that's kind of like a, like a form of punishment it's kind of like a, it's, it's another word that's what and foremost, um, I at least want to clarify at least this past few days or at least this past month at least. It was very, um, I know, or at least from my interpretation, when it comes to a spiritual level or the spiritual realm. Uh, I mentioned that before, right? Um, like in regards to how the narc uses it to their advantage is because... Like I said, don't give away because they'll put them into these apps and they'll use it against you because they start knowing. It's kind of predicting your every move. So they start to see, to know you, right? So they start seeing how you're acting. They start to see your personality, how your characteristics are. So they actually get all that information of you and they put it into an app or any app. Uh, and if they know you're like, say, for example, your birthday, your uh, uh, the city you were born in, and especially your time, your time of birth. So they, and it gives you a profile. Well, because and he didn't change colors and he didn't bite you not just bites him about because i've been watching this other um, channel as well um her name is uh spiritual whistleblower and oh my god check her out as well she just tells it the way it is there's that's kind of in the level where i want to be at meaning as i like speak my truth a different way so now that i'm at least acknowledging my own faults and my own truth of who i am i'm noticing that my um my throat chakra it's actually opening up and it's actually it, it's 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 becoming more natural for me to speak about my situation because i'm becoming more confident now the more and more that i want to know the more and more i want to grow and know about myself i know i'm going to be able to help people and pass this message on to people and at least or at least have them get a better understanding of what so if we focus negatively it's going to go negatively if we focus positively that's going to go that way um, and when 
as we're awoken at least into this uh, uh, reality of really what perception and the way we see things. So I think we're gonna talk about that today. I just wanna give you guys an overview or a preview, at least what I have coming out. What we're gonna speak about. So actually, let me grab my, my notebook, okay? Cause that's what you have a notebook now. So hold on a second. I explain backwards, uh, meaning as in like, instead of me telling you what I'm gonna explain, I usually explain and then I tell you what I just explained. That's kind of what I do, it's kind of weird. Waves, there's, there's, and the way I, I've explained it, like, oh, you know, how do you believe in energy and waves and all this other stuff, right? Like, when I go, what, think about a microwave. You know, obviously, you put some, you put popcorn in there, a burrito or whatever, and you turn it on. Obviously, there's something vibrating it. There's something, you know, making it move. There's something that you can't even see that's at play. And obviously, it's on set. It's like energy, at least. I hope you guys like the lights, guys. I got the, you know, you got to, sorry, too. There's some of you uh, uh, upcoming tribe members that I actually was in uh, on, on Facebook myself, and... Dude, you know, uh, watching one of the one of the members there just gave me light. It gave me like I'm not by myself. There's a lot more people out there like me, and and it's it's all about perception and the way we see things. So I just want to talk about that today. I just want to give you guys an overview. Or, and so I just want to put that out there today, guys. At least in my situation, and I'm excited for you guys. Uh, and there's more to come. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. You know, and, and I hope I, like I said, you guys get some value off of this. Love you guys. Bye. It's a sign that you're close to the fire. If you weren't close to the fire,